because this boss is one of the most annoying in the game. It probably is the most annoying boss in the game. Which is why I saved right there and not before. And you need to kill this boss. There you go. F some fucking little bat took it for him. Fuck, I hate this boss so fucking much. You don't even know. This boss is like a really frustrating one. hard to target the actual fucking boss. Oh, he reloaded but got hit. Okay, that works. Let go. Okay, I'll use this. Got him. He flew his head right in front of my gun and I just blew his brains out. That works too. This is, no, honestly, if you can beat this boss, you have the rest of the game in a handbag. The bats, the small bats also disappear, by the way. The most annoying fucking boss possible they could have put in a Resident Evil game. A flying boss. See, that would be super easy if it was like a modern Resident Evil game. Because you could just look all over the place. It wouldn't be hard to kill it at all. But it's only difficult because it's uh, camera angle based. And you don't have much maneuverability. So now you see through this little hole. Obviously you can hook shot. And by the way, Rebecca doesn't need to sit on that anymore. Oh yeah, you can't flip it, never mind. You might also want to even consider saving after you beat this boss so you don't have to replay it. Looks like you could use something to get up there. Oh, he is shocking him? Oh, beautiful. Actually, no, that's a terrible mistake what I just did. Use the hook shot. And yes, I did miss a lot with my grenade launcher ammo. I'm not sure. That was not pro at all. I missed every shot, basically. Back here, you want to flip the breaker. There was something back there I needed to grab. I don't remember what it was. There's a red herb here. Which I don't remember what it's for or what it what it was at this point. Hmm. I'm gonna have to just run back and get it anyway. Do it as Rebecca because she has the most inventory. Oh no, she has nothing. Should do it as him. Leave 
that. I'm just gonna leave it right there for a minute. What the? And yeah, now you see what I mean when the backtracking gets a little tedious in this game. since I've already gotten the green chemical. Which, by the way, you could grab earlier and not have to kill the eliminators, which you should. Here we go, we have... First aid spray, the usual. We got ink ribbons. We have... What is this, another first aid? Yes, beautiful. What's this? Gas. What's the last item right here? Oh shit, it's Molotovs. Fuck me, I gotta go grab these too. Ah shit. See, Rebecca's pistol kinda just gets in the way. Uh, I don't wanna leave behind these ink ribbons. I'm tempted to leave the gas. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let me just make two trips. Which is really kind of stupid, but and it doesn't really matter. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't remember how you do stuff, so it's whatever. Just do it. It'll take me less time. Spend more time bitching about it and just do it. Okay, but now, anyway, what you can do is... What did I even leave back here? I think I left, like, ink ribbons there as well. Eh, let's just go downstairs, because you're, you're basically going to make your next stop downstairs anyway. Because this is an elevator, right? Oh, shit, they weren't together. Well, might as well have her drop her inventory and then run back. In here, there's only one door you can even go in anyway. Yeah, by the way, this guy comes alive, just so you know. So make sure when you do this... By the way, this is good stuff. Trouble is unlikely. Well, I've closed up my babies and up in a special capsule. But it won't be safe if I hold on to it myself. I'll hide it in that place. To hide a leaf, put it in a forest. To open the capsule, the special stripping agent is necessary. No way Spencer's lackeys could figure out how to make it. Anyway, that this guy comes alive later. You don't want to leave Rebecca unarmed. You want to leave her with something to defend herself with. So I'm going to reload her pistol when Billy gets over here. Or actually, I could even just give her Billy's pistol to be truthful. Okay, so what I'm going to do... 
I need to pick up the grenade launcher and those two items. So I need to go back up with this. Because you're going to want to have the Molotovs, by the way. You're going to need them for this next segment. Because the Molotovs are really, really good against the Leechmen. And because of that, you don't want to not have them. the grenade launcher. Come on. Yeah. Not forget to fucking you call both of them together. Okay, so in here, and I'm actually going to have to redact an earlier statement. Billy can use the hook shot. I was completely wrong about that. Billy most certainly can use it. I'm an idiot, so don't, don't just forget I said that. Because you actually want him to use it here. I'm going to drop this, drop this. Pick up this. Because you, whoever you send up to this next floor I'll has a lot out. of shit Roger. to do. And you kind of want it to be Billy. Oh, red herb. Does he really need the handgun ammo? He needs the Molotovs. See, now what you could either do is you could either take the handgun and the ammo or the shotgun. And you kind of don't need the shotgun. If you're good. So I'm debating if I should take it or not. Because you need to take the hook shot with you. And I don't know when this guy stands up. That's the fucked up part. I don't know when. I just know he does. And if Rebecca has no weapons, she'll die. So, let me before I hook shot. You can drop the magnum ammo, but really. Is there shotgun ammo up there? I think there's shotgun ammo up there. Ah, yeah, fuck it. Let me save. Again. Yeah, this, these are some rapid saves, I know, but it pays off in the long run. Because you're basically going to play like a little mini campaign as whoever you send up. So I'm about to do a lot of Billy work. Climbing up. I don't remember if you used the hook, hook shot after this. You might not. So you can leave it. There's a computer, but there's also a file. 
I changed the platform entry code. Later, I asked him what the source of the entry code was. He told me it was uh, based on something significant in his children's growth. But the director's a loner. He isn't married, and he sure doesn't have any children. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. All right, once you turn this corner, be ready. Impact this motherfucker. Hit him twice. And then retreat. And there you go. Three direct impacts will kill him. It'll kill any leech man. But you want to make sure what you're hitting is a direct impact. If it isn't, you won't kill it. Give me the wine bottle. And drop this. You're going to want to leave it. You'll come back for it. Collection of leech samples. To hide a leaf. Hide it in the forest. I don't like how it bathes the room in an eerie red light, though. Get the map. So out here, you're going to want to push this button. Which will reveal a leech monster that Rebecca has to deal with. But for now, you don't even have to worry about it. You don't want to enter that room yet, I don't think. This room is a safe room. Oh shit, you do want to have the gas. What am I saying? Even though it sounds like he's up here, he can't get to you, so you don't have to worry about it. No, oh, give me the gas. Just combine it with that. Apparently none of them are full, you can just combine them infinitely. I need to see what this door is at the end of the hall over here. I think I know where it leads to. Oh, nice. A bottle. Just use this real quick. Actually, hold on. Let me see if I can just do this. Beautiful. There's an ink, or, uh, ink ribbon typewriter combo here. This guy hasn't gotten up yet. Okay, so it's not when you do that. Yeah, she should be able to handle it herself. Okay, yeah, I know where I am. This next room is the one. It might be right after I enter this room. Let's see. In this room, as you can see, this zombie right here, as I walk, his head turns to follow me. Don't worry, this other zombie won't stand up just yet. So here we go. This is part of the, the solution to the puzzle. Administrated T into four leeches. They double their numbers, but lost two, and then they lost half. And then the rest is just story building, which is good. Oh, look, here it is up here. So they make it so that way, no matter what character you take, you'll be able to do it. It's a bit easier when you have Rebecca, though. 
Now in this room, all hell. Oh shit. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay. Is he dead? Nice! I like how he's not even pointing it at the head. Okay, reload. Again, I don't like to reload in real time, but... Investigators report. Very good. The only real treasure in here that you can do anything with is back here where you have another... Still nothing. Hmm. Is back here where you basically have the same thing as you had on the train. It's another transportation system for items. So what you want to send Rebecca is you want to send her a leech capsule, or well, the leech capsule. Oh shit, my phone scared the hell out of me. That will give you the leech capsule as Rebecca. You also want to send Rebecca the Molotovs. That's all she needs, right? Yeah. And once you step out here... Actually, I'm going to give her the first aid spray just in case. Because you need to kill this leech man. Which is going to be a fun endeavor. There we go. And you can take this chemical, mix them together, you make the stripping agent, and now use it, or combine it, with the leech capsule, which gives you the blue leech. You can't do anything with that door. Oh, and some herbs. Very good. And the nice thing about this game is you can pick one up and then just combine it right away. I think you can only do that when the item you're trying to pick up will be consumed by combining it. Like, consumed entirely. Use that. There's nothing in this room as creepy as it is. Well, there's no enemies. Take the input regulator coil. There's something else. To James, to commemorate your graduation, 1939. Some startling ingenuity by Rebecca. You must be absolutely correct. 
But, um, anyway, there's nothing else in this room. Oh, no, wait. Spoke too soon. Can't carry it, though. Yeah, because I took too many healing items. Let me back out. Actually, I might be able to just drop them here. Actually, no, I'll just do it. I'm in the hallway. Makes more sense, anyway. <laughs> 